I hate rich assholes. Which is fucking ironic, since I'm expected to put my bloody life on the line for them. That's what they pay me for, this pricey hotel here. To be a bodyguard for the rich and famous fuckwits who come to Benoit to blow their money. I used to be a cop, a bloody good one. A vice detective in Sydney. You know how many female half-Aborigine detectives there were before me? None. <laughs> you think it was easy? Suffering the abuse of my so-called colleagues. Half of them hated me because I was a girl. And the other half didn't like the fact that my mum was a curry. So I came up the hard way. I busted my ass. It took me 12 years to make detective, and that still wasn't enough. It's an old boys club, you know? The whole justice system is a fucking joke. Teenage drug addicts get put away forever, and old white wankers who steal fucking millions get away scot-free. <laughs> One rich bugger I investigated was clearly molesting his 14-year-old daughter. But he had too much pull with the politicians, so I couldn't touch him. After the girl killed herself, I confronted him, but he just laughed at me. He pulled out a pistol and told me he could blow my bleeding head off and no one would care. Because I was nothing. A nobody. An abo bitch. So I fucking took his gun away and shot the bastard. It was self-defense, but I still got sacked. Twelve bloody years down the drain. Worst part is, I didn't even kill the son of a bitch. I just gelded him. One day, I'm gonna have to go back and finish the job. Maybe I'll find something useful.
What have we got here? See you through the camera. Feeling all right, mate? No shakes? Fever? Chills? Good. I'll introduce myself later. Right now, we got to get you the hell out of there. Do exactly as I say, okay? You're going to have to trust me. First, you need to get hold of a weapon. Search in the maintenance storage room by the end of the corridor. I would move if I were you. Now. Maybe I'll find something useful. I love surprises. I'm doing it. No! Didn't oh, my buddy tell, tell you? No, stop! Wait! Hey! Can you hear me? Do you understand what I'm saying? Nod your head! Nod your bloody head! I ain't asking you again. 
Oh, thank God. I'm a doctor, not a bloody executioner. Do you know how close we came to bashing your head in? What the hell is wrong with you? came for us! Why don't you do something? Why won't anyone help him? We can't just let him die out there! He saved your life! You owe him your life! You going out there? Are you nuts? You're not gonna help him. Get the hell out of the way! You at least have a weapon? You need to find a weapon. Please! He's the only one protecting us. Please! He's the only one protecting us. All right, you got one? All right. This is fucking crazy. On three. One, two, fucking three! The last one? Okay then. Thanks, mates. Are you there? Hello? Can you hear me? Shit. Hello? We were just attacked. Listen, your friend from the hotel's awake. You were right about him being immune to this thing. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have made it. Maybe now we can hold out until help arrives. There is no help. This thing can't be stopped. I saw how it took my wife. You need to get out of there, and I can help you. I can arrange for transportation. By air, by sea, but first you need to get here. To me. I have many sick and injured here, mate. They're crazy with fear. Tell me where you are. Where are you? You there, mate? Hello? Hello? Oh, God damn it. We didn't think you were gonna make it. Get the hang of this. Name's John Cinnamoy. I'm the head lifeguard here. Look, I don't know who you are. So here's the thing. I'll try. Good. First off, we need an access card to get past the security gate. Mine's in my room. With all the commotion, I forgot to take it with. It's in Bungalow 11, by the pools. Take a weapon and watch yourself. You may be immune, but that don't mean you can't die.
with you! They're like rabid bloody animals! Bloody hell! Thank <laughs> you. 